Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Mathematics Parshala. Today we will discuss a problem of partial differential equation from CSIRD December 2023. The problem is from part B, whose question ID is 704043. So here you can see it is a second order partial differential equation problem given and seeing these options here, we can say that in this problem, our motive is to that classify this PDE only. So when this type of partial differential equation is given, then we have to do this type of R into del to u del x del a into del to u del x del y plus t into del to u del y2 plus capital U into del u del x plus phi into del u del y plus w u is equals to 0 where this r, a, s, t, u, v, w are the coefficients respectively. And we classify such equations according to the sign of what? According to the sign of a squared minus 4RT. This. So, the equation will be, we can say the equation is parabolic. When a squared minus 4RT equals to 0. And the equation will be elliptic when a square minus 4RT is less than 0. And we can say the equation is hyperbolic when we get a square minus 4RT is greater than 0. So, what we do now? Let's check for the given problem. What is a square minus 4RT we get? So, here what is S? S is the coefficient of del to u del x del y. So, here the coefficient of del to u del x del y is minus 2xy. So, our x is minus 2xy. R is the coefficient of del to u del x2. Here coefficient of del to u del x2 is x squared. So R is equals to x squared. And T is here the coefficient of del to u del y2. That is minus 3 y. So 3 is T is minus 3 y squared. Now let's calculate s square minus 4rt minus 2x square this whole square minus 4 into x square into minus 3 y square so what we get here we get 4 x square y square plus 12 x square y square and it will be 16 x square y square. So here a square minus 4rt is 16 x square y square. So easily we can say that it will be always greater than equal to 0. Cannot be less than 0. So if either x is equals to 0 or y is equals to 0 then we get a square minus 4RT is equals to 0 and when S square minus 4RT is equals to 0 that is the equation is parabolic. So implies the equation is parabolic and otherwise we get S square minus 4RT is greater than 0 that is the equation is hyperbolic. Now let's check for the options. 
here option 1 is given elliptic. When it will be elliptic? It will be elliptic when s square minus 4rt is less than 0. But here we already get that s square minus 4rt is always greater than equal to 0. So it cannot be elliptic. Option 1 is false. It is parabolic in x greater than 0, y greater than 0. The equation is parabolic when s square minus 4rt is equals to 0. And here s square minus 4rt can be equals to 0 but when if either x is equals to 0 or y is equals to 0. But here x and y both are given positive. So it cannot be parabolic in when x and y both are positive. Option 3 is hyperbolic in x y not equal to 0. Here what we see? We see that if either x equals to 0 or y is equals to 0, then it is parabolic and otherwise it will be hyperbolic. That is when x, y is not equal to 0, then it is hyperbolic. So, option 3 is true, we can say. And option 4 is parabolic in x, y not equal to 0. But here already we said that when x y is equals to 0 then s square minus 4 t is 0 so it is parabolic and here x y not equals to 0 given so option 4 is false so here option 3 is the only correct option and it is the question from part b also